Ghost of Tsushima. Now what makes this a great game you may ask? Well apart from the hot Italian mums making sushi, there are some things better than sushi that may tickle your fancy. I don't think there is a game with better graphics, landmarks and landscapes. This game's impressively satisfying combat makes me feel so cool that I can get distracted from the fact that I'm a loser in real life. While I don't roam around getting a lot of one night stands from women, Ghost of Tsushima's open world does offer a lot of one time standoffs. I would much prefer a one night stand than seeing that useless right d-pad button on my screen. It kind of reminds me of this one time I was with this girl and she compared my d-pad to a ladyfinger banana. Like come on, sometimes it isn't always about the size of banana, rather the quality of it. Someday we'll go for a peaceful ride. I mean, seems pretty peaceful to me. One minute later. Oh my god. You know what's worse than only having 30 subscribers? Having more than 30 icons on my map. I would actually rather replace them all with the subscribe button to this channel so that I wouldn't feel like I'm playing every Ubisoft game that has ever been made. On a real note, this game's storytelling really makes me feel like I'm opening a gate to a new dimension. No, 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 no. Open the gate! Open the gate! Although I was a little disappointed that Ghost of Tsushima is about samurais and not Italian mums making sushi, it made me realise that this era of Japan is one of the best settings for a game. It's so good that you would have thought Ubisoft would have done it first, but instead they made Far Cry 7. I mean Avatar. Alright, let's do this sneakily. This parkour is really unique, I don't think any other game has done this before. Same with these assassinations, like... That is really original. I'm loving it. Thunder. Look at that, it's storming. That is crazy. Oh my god. 